Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and thank you very much for making some time out of your day to spend with me and watch the video. I'm always very thankful for that. Guys, today I'm pissed. I'm gonna come right out and tell you about it. Um, there's a group of anglers out there that I'm gonna identify in today's video that need to sit down and keep their mouth shut because they have no business saying what they're saying. So we're gonna get into that in today's video and also I'll be uh, curious to get your guys' opinion on it. Um, also, guys, real quick before we get started, I'd just like to invite everybody out there, if you haven't had a chance, to please subscribe here at Intuitive Angling. Um, right now, only about 40% of the people that watch the videos are subscribed. It's free and easy. Just hit that subscribe button. If I say something like I may say in today's video that make you mad, you can always unsubscribe. And again, thank you very much for everybody that's been using my Tackle Warehouse and my Solar Bat links I put in the description. Uh, using those links is a super, gr super great way to support the channel, so thank you very much for that. Okay, guys, I did a video um, about, it's been about three or four weeks ago now, um, on Hank Parker. Uh, he, Hank Parker on his podcast, he came out basically voicing his opposition against forward-facing sonar, using many of the arguments that myself and a lot of people use uh, against it, against that particular technology and how it's uh, degrading the sport. And I was just, it made my heart feel so good. I was so proud of Hank for doing that. Um, Hank has been, you know, he's without a doubt, he's one of my heroes in the sport. I've got tremendous amount of respect for Hank Parker. And um, anyway, what had happened after that particular video I did, um, and after Hank, I, you know, I was talking about the podcast that Hank did, and, and after Hank's podcast, there started being some goobers that came out of the wall that were slamming Hank Parker for his position on forward-facing sonar. Basically the same type of stuff. They call me your dinosaur grandpa hanging up, your time's past you. If you're one of those guys out there, you need to keep your big freaking mouth shut. Hank Parker deserves respect from every single bass angler out there. And the older guys know that. I've never heard of any veteran older angler out there say a bad word about Hank Parker because they've been taught respect. They understand what respect is. They understand that there are ethics in this sport and there's professional courtesy. And you do not rail against somebody like Hank Parker that has contributed more to the sport than any of those loudmouths out there will ever dream about in their entire life out there. And <clears throat> one of the things about this is I think that so many anglers out there, and I don't want to just identify the younger anglers, I, because there are some anglers in the 30s and 40s that are like this. They don't have any respect for the people that came before them in the sport. They don't know anything about the tradition of the sport and the heritage of the sport and who came before the sport. They, they can't tell you who 75% of the bat, past Bassmaster Classics winners are out there. If you do not, if you're one of those anglers out there that have just hopped in this sport and rode on the coattails and on the shoulders of the people like Hank Parker that paved the way in the sport and you don't understand the value and the everything that comes with respecting the people that came before you, you don't have any business in the sport. You don't have any business to even catch a bass out there. So I just want to tell everybody out there, if you're one of those anglers that, or if you know one of those anglers that dogged Hank Parker, a legend in the sport who's smarter and has done more in the sport in the decade that he competed in it than anyone out there, you, need, you just need to keep your mouth shut and sit down because you don't, you don't deserve to have a voice in the sport. And for all you older anglers out there, all you veteran pros out there that are complacent in this entire forward-facing sonar, you know, de debate out there, and the ones out there that are trying to spin it to something, oh, it's just, it's great for the sport and we're learning more about the bass than we ever have, you need to take a lesson from Hank Parker because you're letting the sport down. If you're a veteran angler and you pay, and your career was made prior to forward-facing sonar, you, uh, you have a responsibility to the sport to protect the tradition and the heritage and the magic and the mystery of it. And by you endorsing and you tearing down and you trying to normalize forward-facing sonar technology, it is, it's a disgrace to everything that you have worked for to get to this point in your career out there. And I just, when I saw that, when I saw some of those comments, about people dogging and getting down on Hank Parker about that. I, it, it just freaking made my blood boil out there. Hank Parker, I'll tell you one thing about him. Hank, Hank was only in this sport for about a decade. He won two Bassmasters Classics, Angler of the Years. He was per perennial in the top 10 Angler of the Year every single year. 
television show, probably the best ambassador the sport have ever had. I don't care if you disagree with Hank Parker on anything. You know, just be quiet about it. If you if you can't say something nice and honorable and complimentary about Hank Parker, you don't need to be open in your mouth about anything. So anyway, I'm just freaking mad about that, guys. I'm really mad. One of the things that I have no patience for, which I've seen a lot, is there, and again, I don't want to make this sound like this is a dog in the younger generations because, because it, it, I'm dogging anyone that falls into this category. This sport, it just didn't come here like you found it. All, all you forward-facing sonar, you know, sheep out there that can't catch a bass without forward-facing sonar, and you got your head in the sand and you live in an information silo about technology, all you guys out there, you, you have, it, until you take some time and you reflect on the history and you reflect on the people that built this sport before you got here and you admire and you honor and you respect those people and you have a, a deep sense of gratitude for paving the way for what you are doing right now, that you, you can't, you have no business talking about people like that until you can actually know what you're talking about. One of the things I remember I did all the time is I, I used to be, a baseball fanatic. I loved baseball. I loved playing baseball. I wanted to be a pro baseball player. And when I was a little kid, I knew more about Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays and Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig, guys that came decade or, you know, 50 years before I was even born than anybody out there. I had a tremendous respect for the ball players that came before me. I don't see that anymore. There's a handful of guys out there I'll give you a prime example. One of my good friends, Connor Cunningham, here in Missouri, he's a young angler out there. He is a historian about the sport. He knows more about the history of the sport, and the and, the, and he has respect for the older generation out there. And it's just it, it it is so refreshing to see somebody like him that is younger that has a gratitude and respect for people that came before him. But guys, I got no respect if for anybody out there that does not respect the people that came before them, people like Hank Parker. So anyway, all you guys that dogged on Hank Parker, you need to just, like I said, be quiet and start listening to him and maybe you'll learn something. And all you guys out there that you older dudes that have been complacent on this and you have not come to the defense of Hank Parker on his position, shame on you. You need to get a backbone and do the right thing here. And, um, it's, it's, it's just freaking messed up. But anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think. We'll talk later. See y'all.